Well, the sun is very much out here at the Rock Desert Festival in the south of France. We've got some brand new uh, e-mountain bikes launched this week. Got a ton of tech. So let's dive in and have a look. Now, one of the biggest stories from here at the Rock Desert Festival is the launch of GT's all new E Force bike. Now, of course, GT did already have an e bike, the E Verb, but this is a totally different beast. And it focuses on the very successful LTS suspension platform, which, well, I guess it's been around for quite a long time, but it's successfully been used by the likes of Martin Mace at uh, Enduro World Series, and also he's won. Uh, a World Cup downhill on that suspension platform. Right, let's have a look at some of the geometry numbers on this GT E-Force. First of all, the sizing. Now it goes from size small up to size extra large. And reach is a really important indicator of sizing. And the numbers on this bike are 425 millimeters in size small, up to 500 millimeters in size extra large, which means there's a, a, a size there for most riders. Uh, at the numbers, 65 degree head tube angle, 76 degree seat tube angle, a 349 millimeter bottom bracket and a 455 millimeter chainstay. Now, these are the kind of numbers that a lot of contemporary e-bikes seem to be zoning in on. That, that balance between the front and rear, obviously very, very important on an e-mountain bike. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are actually two versions of the E-Force. There is the Amp, which is this bike here, and also the Current, which comes in at £3,600 versus the £4,200 of the Amp here. Now, uh, the most important difference of the two bikes is actually the motor. Now, this bike comes with a Shimano E8000 motor, whereas the, the current comes with an E7000 motor. Now, actually, I've, been, I've ridden that motor here in Rock Desert Festival a year ago, and I did some super technical climbs in it. Obviously, the difference, there's a difference there in the torque. The E7000 comes with uh, 60 newton meters of torque, whereas the E8000 is 70 newton meters of torque. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about actually was the travel. The bike is 150 mil travel front and rear. Uh, an important and an interesting component mix in the bike actually. You've got a SRAM Eagle SX um, gearing on the back, which is 1152, matched with a Shimano crank, which is 165 millimeters and a 34 tooth um, chain ring. Uh, wheels are WTB, as I said, those are 29 inch wheels. Uh, Maxxis DHF tire up front and a Minion DHR on the rear. Uh, it's GT's own seat post on there. And what I really like about the bike is the super short stem on it. I think it's actually a 35 millimeter stem uh, with an 800 millimeter bar, Shimano brakes, 200 mil rotors. Now, three other things which I forgot to mention about the GT E-Force. First of all is the suspension. Now, up front is a RockShox e-bike specific 35 fork, 150 mil travel. On the rear is a, a RockShox Deluxe Select damper. And the third thing is the fact that actually Enduro World Series legend Martin Mace has been using this as a training tool. Uh, in between his enduro and his downhill exploits. You might have seen Hans Ray riding this bike around the pits in Rock Desert. So yes, great, Rock, uh, GT a little bit late to the party with e-bikes, but I think they made up for it. Now, Bergamont is from St. Pauli, which is a suburb of Hamburg. Uh, it's actually part of the Scott Group now. This is their 130 mil travel e contra This is the expert version. It comes in four sizes. Uh, it's got the new Bosch motor there with a 625 watt hour battery. It does come with a 500 watt hour battery as well, but this bike retails for 4,799 euros. As I said, 130 mil travel, front and rear, 29 inch wheels, uh, Synchro's Duncan seat post, the all new Ergon seat on this bike. And I think it's a really nice looking package. Now, Bergamot also do a 160 mil version of that bike. It's the E Trailster. That too comes in 29 inch wheels, really nice green color. But I'm sure everyone will be interested in this little kid's bike here, which they've got. How cute is that? Boom. The new Bull Sonic range has grabbed quite a lot of attention here at Rock Desert Festival. This is the Sonic uh, AM behind me. There's this one, the Sonic Enduro, which is 
really uh, grabbed my attention mostly. 180 mil travel front and rear, it's got a 64 degree head angle. Uh, 447 millimeter chainstay comes in two sizes either medium or large now for those of you who are interested uh, the medium weighs in at 450 millimeter each and the large comes in at a 480 millimeter each so quite a big size there uh, some neat touches it's got a Bosch system on it the new uh, fourth gen mo Bosch motor and it comes with three different battery options you can either have a 400 watt hour battery 500 watt hour or 625 watt hour battery in this bike um, 27.5 wheel at the back, 29 at the front, uh, really neat bar and stem. This is Bulls' own bar and stem on this bike, uh, which includes an integrated uh, light holder there. 8-pin um, seat dropper, new ergon seat, yeah, it's quite a looker. Do you know what, it's always interesting what you see here at Rock Desert Festival. I mean, look at this dude here, excuse me, what's, what's that there? I don't know, I just find out on the floor. Like I don't know what it is. This is like 2019 UCI World Downhill Champion. I think you'll find that's Loic Brunies, right? Yes, I think it's the one from Lolo. <laughs> Dude, I need to go. I need to get him back. <laughs> Vance on Sakamani from Fox, eh? Always joking. Moustache bikes from Northern France have made really good use of their space at the festival. Uh, I don't know if this is a hangar, is this a hay barn? I don't know, but the bikes look really good hanging up there. They've also got, they've got clean bikes, they've even got dirty bikes, which is quite close to my heart. This is the bike of champion Jerome Gilou. Uh, looks like he's been in a very interesting muddy race. There's another Jerome Gilou bike, and of course, there's the super white edition of one of the most successful cross country races ever, Julian Absalon. Uh, obviously, there's test sessions going on if you look down here. Just coming up to the Santa Cruz stand, uh, still no e bike. The wait continues. Now, Ku do a huge range of mountain bike glasses, but here at Rock Desert, they've actually launched their all new goggle, the Edge Goggle. Now, as you can see, there's a range of filters here. This goggle filters less light, and this goggle filters more light. This is a blue filter, red filter, pink filter, and obviously no filter at all. Lots of really cool uh, features on this. It's, um, it's a detachable lens, it's a cylindrical design. Uh, obviously, it's anti fog, but, um, and again, Carl Zeiss lenses, but the clarity in these is absolutely pin sharp. Wow, e bike specific Vibram toes? Ah, oh, come on, get out of here. Now, you might have seen recently that I've been trying out clip pedals, so I'm a little bit clip curious at the minute. I've seen these Mavic XA Thermos weighing in at 460 grams. The cool thing about this is that you can actually got your, hold on a second, you've actually got your summer shoe which fits inside there. So, coming up to the winter months in the UK and Wales, I think those might be on the agenda. Moving over here to what I think could potentially be, excuse me, uh, could potentially be the world's first mountain bike mannequin. Uh, he probably needs to grow some hair and uh, get in the sun a little bit, bit more, but um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good look. Uh, Mavic's own e-bike specific wheels here. Let's move over here a second. They do a 32, they do a 35 millimeter version here, which has got a steel, uh, it's a totally e-bike specific wheel with a steel uh, free hub on it. Uh, and I have here Michelle from Mavic, who can tell me a little bit about, Michelle, can you tell me a little bit about the, the all new free hub, right? The new, the whole new free hub is uh, way stronger in terms of uh, reliability. Uh, we have been refined the whole system uh, by uh, simplifying it and making it uh, fully compatible with any kind of, uh, of uh, standard. No tools required here? No tools, you can dismount easily without tools, change your free up or cassette and uh, maintain it with a bit of uh, grease, super light grease. There's only one spring, so very little number of uh, pieces in movement so no play appearing because there's also a self-adjustment uh, bearing system on this side with a wavy washer and a seal clip so that way you have nothing moving at all. Now this is not just this is e-bike specific as well this is a this is a mountain bike one here but yeah. there's an e-bike one exactly the same thing right? Yeah exactly the same thing but but we have introduced a, a bigger axle than before 17 I millimeter. See here look Michelle uh, yeah. 40% bigger balls than leading competitor. Yeah, like, like, like <laughs> there always comes a point in a bike show where you need a bit of a pick-me-up. So Andrea's making us a double shot Americano. 
I'm sure Josh will be tucking into the biscuits. Hmm, Mavic stand coffee. Thanks guys. Now you've just been checking out a steering wheels. They're actually an e-bike specific wheel building company. But it's this brand, AV, the sister company, which have these e-bike specific hubs. Um, with Nicolas, who is Nicolas, sorry, who's one of the owners of this company. Uh, Nicola, can you talk us through this, this hub here? It looks pretty heavy duty. Looks like you've got a stainless steel free hub on there. Yes, it's a stainless steel free hub. Uh, we managed to make um, the free hub very, very thin. So it's still very uh, heavy duty but thin enough to put a big bearing inside. Big bearings, big axle, make it very reliable, very stiff, very strong for e-bike application. You have 60 engagement, so it's easy for, um, to use the big wheels like 29ers on it. And it's still really light because the rear hub is only 300 grams, so it's light enough. So there, check out AV hubs, e-bike specific hubs, uh, look pretty cool. Wow, what a great day, walking around in the sun, checking out e-bikes and tech. Uh, loads of cool things here at Rock Desert. I think the AV wheels, those hand-built uh, hubs in France, were quite interesting. Uh, I'm afraid we've got to leave you now, Josh. I know you want to see Lurk Bruni do his signing, but time to go back and edit this video. Uh, if you want to see more e-bike tech, check out the video we did from Eurobike, which is just down by here.